Trees are tall. You're not. So when it comes to safely pruning tall branches and limbs, do yourself a favor and grab a pole saw. Here we have the new Remington Ranger 2. This isn't just any old pole saw. This game changer has some pretty unique features designed to make your job a whole lot easier. First, let's do a quick overview of your machine. On this model, you're going to find the guide bar and bar tip, saw chain, tension adjustment, automatic oiler, branch hook, bucking spike, and clamps. And on this end, we have the throttle control, throttle lockout, and power cord. Now that we've reviewed the basics, let's dive into the special features that make this pole saw a must-have. We've made converting your pole saw to chainsaw quick and painless. First, set the pole saw on a flat level surface. Next, disconnect the motor assembly from the pole assembly. Then, disconnect the handle from the pole, just like this. All that's left is to connect the handle to the motor assembly. And now you've got your chainsaw. One thing to point out, instead of having a handle assembly with a front hand guard and rear handle, this one has a full wrap handle with a guard. This lets you hold your saw in several different positions so you can get a more secure grip and have more control when you're taking down those branches. And because the handle is always at the bottom of the pole, you don't have to worry about the cord getting in your way or getting caught in the tree. That's working smarter and safer. Now that you're back to a pole saw, remember to use the clamps to adjust the pole to your preferred length. There you go. Watch out, branches. You're going down. When using your pole saw, it's important to check the chain tension before and during use to make sure it hasn't become loose. Adjust the tension whenever the flats on the saw chain hang out of the bar groove. If you see this, it's time for an adjustment. This model makes tightening even easier with its bar knob and chain tensioning ring. Simply turn the bar knob counterclockwise to slightly loosen the bar cover. Next, hold the guide bar tip up and then turn the chain tensioning ring clockwise. If you accidentally over tighten the chain, just turn the ring counterclockwise a little bit. Once you find the perfect chain tension, continue holding the guide bar tip and turn the bar knob clockwise to securely tighten the bar cover. And that's it. You're ready to get back out there and trim away. If you need a refresher on how to remove and install the guide bar and saw chain, refer to your operator's manual. Unlike most other pole saws, this model has an angled power head. This helps prevent pinching and puts gravity on your side to give you a straight down cut. Like any well-oiled machine, you'll need to make sure your oil level isn't too low. Unlike other pole saws that make you push buttons to oil the chain, this model will self-lubricate for you. It works harder, so you don't have to. Now, to learn more about using and maintaining your pole saw, watch these.